Hey what's up and welcome to the channel. If you're new, my name is Ponder and I make music for some YouTubers that you might have heard. One of them being Casey Neistat and the other Mark Rober. Ponder is my go-to guy when I need like a really cool song for my uh, YouTube videos. It's been a while since I last posted a video, but I'm back to hopefully making content more consistently. Today I'm going to be talking about tracks that Mark Rober should have used but didn't. I make a lot of tracks for Mark Rober. A lot of them kind of sound similar. There are some that I've sent that he should have used, but chose not to. I want you to tell me which tracks you think he should have picked. And if you don't know who Mark Rober is, he is a YouTuber slash former NASA engineer. And he used to work for Apple, which is pretty cool. You might have seen his videos like, you know, the world's largest Nerf gun. You're up. Or Super Soaker. I'm sure you've probably seen the, the Glitter Bomb video, which is probably his most popular one. I've been working with him for three years now, and I'm really grateful to have my music in a channel that is as popular as it marks. So let's have a listen to some of these tracks. Okay, so this first track is called New Arc. Why? I don't know. I titled them pretty weird titles. Uh, th most likely, this was a new track for Mark, so I just titled it New Arc. Pretty weird. Anyway, let's have a listen. Yeah, perfect. If you're a long time Mark Rover fan, you can already just imagine the crazy science stuff that he's doing. Uh, behind this track. Pretty good. science this next one is called possible mark <laughs> creative I know yeah this yeah this is a pretty good mark rover track you can just hear this would go perfect in like a uh, egg drop from space Oh, this would also go great in his in his world's largest elephant toothpaste video. Pretty cool. I like this part right here. Now this actually would have been the perfect beat for his uh, egg drop video. It's got sciency slash tension determined type of emotion. I like this track. The build up in this is really long. <laughs> Next track titled The Vision. Very typical Mark Rober track. And, you know, he's asked me, uh, one of his like requirements for tracks that he'll most likely use are 
uh, if the track has you know string instruments and if it's got like a obviously a sciency or if you know what a like determined type of chord progression sounds like things along that those lines let's have a listen to the vision <laughs> See, this track could easily be a Mark Rover staple. I think the problem with this one though is it's after a while it starts to it starts to sound similar to some other tracks that I've sent Mark. But I'm always trying to experiment with new sounds and new ideas to send to Mark. Um, but you know, sometimes sometimes it's it just won't work out but that's okay this next track i titled big bro mark because <laughs> because mark's big bro let's listen to this track shall we This track, I probably un I understand why Martin used this track. In my opinion, it doesn't have a whole lot of pizzazz. I think the melodies are great. You know, they hit the Mark Rober checklist, but overall, it just doesn't have a whole lot of dynamic that would fit in a Mark Rober video. Good attempt, though. Good attempt, though. I will give I will give myself that. Well, those are a handful of the tracks that I combed through that I think Mark Rober should have picked but didn't. Um, let me know in the comments which tracks you think would have fit best in his videos. Thank you for watching. There's a song that really bangs these days on my channel. It's exactly because of Ponder. He's the man.